Hi Collective, how are you all today? Edie and I are good. She's back here. <laughs> Say hi guys. She's knocked out. I don't know if you can really see her that good. Hold on. Okay, here I am. <laughs> She's like, goodness mommy. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good today. We're doing good. Thank you all for being here. I love you guys so much. All right, guys, let's tap in and let's see what's in the energy. Let's see what we need to know. Could be dealing with some anxiety right now. And you need to stand your ground. Seven of Wands energy. Partnerships and alliances. Three of Wands. Anxiety about prosperity beginning, possibly. Standing your ground because you're aware of things that are going on around you. That's the magician energy. You're power powerfully manifesting, creating firm boundaries, not letting people cross those boundaries. And partnerships and alliances with firm foundations, four of pentacles, holding on tight to what you're trying to manifest and desire. Could be having anxiety over a spiritual union that you were in, over a relationship or a breakup, standing your ground and aware of anything that was worrying you. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It's keeping yourself upset and creating this anxiety. This partnerships and alliances, a firm foundation would distort a romance here. So this could be someone that you... Uh, went through a breakup with that you're trying to heal from and process the energy from this breakup here. Okay, Paisley came outside and the the girls were barking at each other through the window. So it got loud for a minute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Evie had to talk to her friend. They're so funny. We got the ninth house. Well, by Jupiter, Sagittarius, it's the house of wisdom, the spiritual values, the long range thinking or travel, what is to be shared as if it or they came from all there is, the philosophies and laws involved and do it in a big way. And we got Scorpio energy. Scorpio's ruled by the eighth house. And Mars and Pluto, it's the house of transformation. Purification to resurrect the secrets of, resulting from the power of, the extraordinary power of prayer, the highest and lowest aspects of something. Control the situation. And it's taking back control of the situation. Purification to resurrect your spiritual values. Secrets of long-range thinking or travel. Resulting from the power of what is to be shared. The extraordinary power of prayer as if it or they came from all there is. The highest and lowest aspects of the philosophies and laws involved. Control the situation and do it in a big way. And someone could be worried and hoping that they can form a reconciliation <clears throat> if there's someone that was in a breakup here and they could be worrying about their financial stability right now relaxation peace and tranquility <clears throat> and easiness someone's feeling confined Feel like they're being held captive or that's how you felt in, a, in this relationship tolerated a lot of things it was a faded encounter this karmic energy
clarify relaxation. You're just relaxing and loving yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You're concerned about your well-being. You're healing yourself and you're independent. And all this confinement and anxiety created a lot of overwhelming feelings, feeling obligated. Of our fate. We got memory. So trapped in like nostalgic memories in the past, overcoming them, going through the life review. Someone was stubborn. They didn't want to listen to what someone had to say and you could be stubborn right now and just being like no I don't want to hear what you have to say I'm loving myself I'm healing myself I'm relaxing all of the masks and deception that were involved in this situation created a lot of overwhelming energies that made you feel confined the person was just pretending and inconsistent. And they could be protesting, no, I don't want it to end. Could have been a lot of fighting. This person could have just out been seeking attention elsewhere. Well, the anxiety and the fright feeling could be having to overcome some depression or going through some depression as you're healing from this from this breakup here and then worried about any new energy that could be coming towards you and that could be hindering your growth here because you have to heal before the next person can come towards you in a healthy way or the patterns just going to keep repeating could be paranoid about any new energy coming towards you because of hurtful, painful pasts. Yeah, you're trying to plan and manage and organize your time wisely. And you're making loving yourself a priority and fitting that into your schedule to help you overcome the stress. Could be suffering from headaches, having pressure in your head or just pressure on yourself in life period. Could be dealing with some insomnia and anxiety. You're coming out as the sweetheart here. You're a pure, beautiful, beloved, unconditionally loving being here. And you've been seeking advice on how to help you on your journey. And you're going to have success. You're going to be triumphant. And you're going to achieve whatever it is that you're working on with spirit here. Because there's a beautiful, powerful transformation going on. And God is helping you survive these disasters that you've been having to go through and <clears throat> you've taken risks you have felt frustrated at times it's just part of the journey but you're focusing on purifying and resurrecting your spiritual values and you're understanding more of what you need to share with others you're learning to not have to always speak about things you're learning to have that inner reflection to where if you speak about something then it's because you need to other than just having to feel like you're obligated to is what i'm hearing and you're seeing how extraordinary prayer is and how powerful it is and how it's helping transform your life and you're tapping into the collective oneness of consciousness and this beautiful awareness. You're overcoming your worries and anxieties. You're surrendering it up to the universe and the divine. And you're focusing on your abundance and your prosperity and manifesting for those of you who do one day want new love to come in, a beautiful two of cups spiritual union. And that Dordo romance will open in a beautifully abundant way when that time is right for you. And for those of you who are ready, you have new love coming towards you. You've 
really taken control of the situation in your life and you've done it in a big way you've been to the highest and the lowest aspects of the being and you're seeking the knowledge and working with the universal laws that are involved in this energy that's beautiful kind of blockages could be going on in love right here sphere that could be some shadow work that needs to be done please releasing control issues realizing that you're not in control the universe is in control and the belief that everyone leaves could be having to heal from trust issues and abandonment wounds and then people that were always very controlling of you and walls of protection around your heart have gone up that uh, all were because you weren't really following your heart allowing someone else to control you is not following your heart knowing that you need to leave and walk away and staying too long in something and it's due to past disappointments so it's affecting everything that's coming forward towards you and now that you're loving yourself in the past you had a lack of self-love and it created trust issues and these walls of protection around your heart are due to unprocessed past traumas and it created a fear of vulnerability that was um, making it hard for you to be in relationships but you're learning the cycles and the patterns and you're connecting with spirit it's increasing your discernment and it's allowing you to create awareness you stand your ground you speak your truth you overcome the heartache of partnerships and alliances that you could have been in that no longer serve you or the highest good for all that you had to walk away from could have been a boss at work that could be involved or you could be in this boss energy and you're focusing on on this prosperity begins with the ace of pentacles over here you're very abundant and the universe is blessing you with universal abundance and there's no access you're blocking people from your existence that no longer serve you you're just focusing on your work you could have your own business some of you could be doing well financially receiving unexpected money from what you've been working towards and for those of you there's a new twin or soulmate that loves themselves too because the more that you love yourself the higher vibrational energy that's going to be attracted to you and you're just focusing on your spiritual gifts here and so new love offers that are going to come towards you you're going to make sure that they're in alignment and that they're not operating out of a state of manipulation people are enamored with you and you're learning to be enamored with yourself because you understand that you alone are in charge of your own happiness no one else is in charge of our happiness your ancestors are here and here you are as the sweetheart again protecting you and loving you and guiding you on your path to helping you overcome all of the abuse that you've endured and the painful energy you're in this beautiful rising star energy people could have lied and given false information could be dealing with an ice king or an ice queen here that's awakening to the fact that there's no chance that you're going back to the past the past is the past they can be very surprised that you have such firm boundaries and that you're aware of their shenan their shenan shenanigans and all their bullshit and their fuckery anyone that you were in commitments with they could be jealous and envious of your new energetic level that you're at we've got a karmic feminine here or a karmic masculine that you're overcoming they could be trying to message you and reach out but you've ascended past this energy and you're focusing on loving thoughts of self you've walked away you've abandoned the past and you're not focusing in that energy anymore and you've abandoned anything to do with jezebel energies and you're just looking for a nice guy or a nice girl to come towards you and you're moving on with your you're moving on from the ops because your guides are allowing you and this beautiful earth angel energy here to see who can be trusted and you and your children who who you can trust and major changes 
are occurring right now in your energy and new relationships are going to start forming for you we've got divine feminine divine masculine energy here that's coming forward and coming through so as you're healing this you're bringing in a new beautiful divine counterpart that's not going to be this karmic energy that you've been used to dealing with Yeah, we've got the Two of Cups again. You called judgment on what was going on in your relationships and you asked the Divine to help you with your spiritual union here. Could be taking a long time for this love to come around. But it's very abundant. And here we are again with Prosperity Begins, the Ace of Pentacles. overcoming any conflict and strife with this five of wands energy that you've been having to deal with violence aggression abuse and you call judgment and you've been exposing everything and it could have taken a like time a long time you've been in ten of swords energy of overcoming this pain and so you've just been studying and focusing and working on yourself and educating yourself as you're growing in your new level of ascension and alignment here as you're overcoming this painful past you're investing in what kind of a relationship you want to bring towards you and that can be platonic or romantic and we've got a king of wands energy here you're very charismatic you've got you know a lot of business sense you're beautiful you've got vibrant energy you're sexy you're confident and you're in boss daddy energy here with the king of pentacles as well being very abundant stable father figure um having a good head on your shoulders being very good with finances and we've got the six of wands and that's victory and achievement you're standing your ground here with the seven of wands and you're aware of what's going on <clears throat> you've been working very hard and you've been dedicating yourself to your craft and anything that you're trying to manifest and you're very skilled in in some kind of certain area that spirit has blessed you with you're walking away from what no longer serves you and there could have even been like a king of pentacles that put ten swords in your back for a very long time that you walked away from um but we've got the two of wands so you're focusing on your goals and you're going on a new beautiful journey forward and you're in this boss emperor energy here And you're moving on to calmer waters you call judgment things are being exposed you're in the nine of pentacles energy it's very single successful abundant but you're working on this ten of cups union and it's coming in and that's what you're going to have there's going to be a new love offer that's coming towards you and you're going to have a new path to take you could be traveling but it's going to be a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles energy. Extremely abundant with the Ace of Pentacles out here twice. So there could be a tower that's been going on that had to deal with this karmic energy that you had to sacrifice. And so that you could move forward on your soul growth and your journey here. Overcoming any conflict and defeat. They've been defeated. You're defeating your past karmic enemies here so any offers that can be coming towards you are going to be good offers whenever you clear this energy and you're going to be able to rest and relax and rejuvenate you're meditating you're healing and you're in this beautiful empress energy we've got emperor empress energy out here and on the split you're going to be the fool on a whole brand new journey here that you're going on and so with the emperor and the empress we've got divine feminine divine masculine spiritual union with a new door to romance here and you're given a death and moving on i am learning that endings are merely beginnings from all of the hostilities and the deceit that kept you all tied up and bound and confined 
I mean, you called for judgment and justice to balance out this energy. And here you are in the Nine of Pentacles with your material harvest. You've been very disciplined. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And you're focusing on your health and your well-being. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And it takes patience. It takes time. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about this past energy, Spirit. They wore a mask. <clears throat> they had hidden motives and they concealed what their true identity and intentions were. They lied and they affected the comfort and the safety that you felt in your home. Romantic feelings. It came out in reverse. Falling in love, affection, happiness, and emotion. So you may not want to feel any romantic feelings because of how badly you've been hurt in the past. But you can't be like that forever. I mean, you have to heal enough to where if something does come along one day, then you're open to that. Because that's just shutting yourself off. And yes, you need that alone time to have that introspection and that healing. And don't force yourself into something. What the universe wants to bring in for you, that's what's going to happen. And if you don't end up with anyone else, then that's how it was supposed to be. But don't close yourself off to the opportunity that it may not arise. You have to accept change. Because change is the only constant. Regeneration and growth. A metamorphosis and a cycle that's occurring. Divine intervention has occurred regarding your finances here. It's something supernatural. Karma had to be balanced out. There were problems with money. Could be problems with work and material things and your success. <clears throat> Someone that you don't have romantic feelings for anymore could be trying to text message you. And you don't want anything to do with it. And there could very possibly be a change in a commitment or a partnership that could be coming towards you with the new partner. And this person may want a reconciliation and you don't have any romantic feelings for this person anymore. This person could have struggled with addictions. They had toxic attachments, drugs, alcohol, obsession. But it was a faded meeting. For this to unfold because this was karmic energy that had to be balanced out between the two of you and you could just be getting a change in relationships regarding new friends and soul family that's coming into your life and you're just more focused on that and new love just came out in reverse so I know most of my collective you're like fuck that I don't want new love but some of you do so just follow your intuition and trust your gut feelings. Move on so that the new beginnings and new things can come towards you. Sometimes you just have to take a chance and take a leap of faith and go, go with what's being given to you. Because you have to read between the lines. There's hidden meanings. And you could have had to do that a lot with people in the past. You're always having to figure it out and speculating what was going on. And people were vague with you because they had deceptive hidden mo motives that they didn't want to come forward. They didn't want you to know. And if you have these intuitive psychic abilities, you saw straight through this bullshit. And you walked away. And then they're, they're like, well... Why? Wow. <laughs> because that's just how it is. See straight through your fuckery and we don't want anything to do with it. Because they can get by with other people and they don't know what the fuck's going on, but they couldn't get it past it, that with you. I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. That could have been this person's problem. So they had a problem with their self-esteem, you know, and they could have made you feel like that because it was their own insecurities that they were projecting onto you, creating all kinds of anxiety and worry, acting like you were the problem and 
if this person was deceptive and wearing a mask, then, then that's their fault that they projected that energy onto you. I am focused on my career and my finances, and that's why you've got this Ace of Pentacles out here twice. You're just focusing on your bag, not romance right now. I am truly sorry. You deserve better. So, you deserve better than what this person was bringing towards you. I'm going through the dark night of the soul, and that could be you and your past person here, because we all have to go through that. I hope you haven't moved on and this person's still holding on but you don't have any feelings for this person anymore i need to heal my inner child wounds and we all have to heal those wounds and maybe this person is avoiding this with all of these addictions and toxicities i think you are so adorable so this person thinks that you're adorable I feel insecure around you and that could be because you could see straight through the bullshit and I love the way you carry yourself so this person's intimidated by you and I am not emotionally available right now so you were stuck with someone who wasn't allowing themselves to be open and vulnerable with you and you could have also been in that energy because the fear of vulnerability is the overall energy on the bottom of the deck here that needs to be healed and that could have been coming from both energies and that was something that had to be balanced out that you helped each other balance out to where you could stand your ground and create this awareness so that you could see what you don't want in relationships anymore to manifest good energy that's coming towards you with a firm foundation focusing on your finances focusing on your self-love your inner worth overcoming so that way when new love does present itself you're healthy and not in toxic energy so that you can have a healthy connection and some they could have cared too much about what other people thought I repress my emotions. This person doesn't allow themselves to express their emotions. You could have had a hard time getting this person to tell you how they felt and they were avoidant and always running around getting lost in their toxicities because they did not want to have to be vulnerable with themselves or with anyone else. And it just created a nightmare. Tell me more about this person. It was toxic energy. It was a destructive relationship. And this person used manipulation and gaslighting. They could have been undecided, choosing between lovers, competing for affection. They could have had you in third-party situations. And you could have been calling them out. And they were gaslighting and manipulative. And you've been burned, afraid to love someone again. It's unhealed traumas and running away because of how bad you've been burned but if you're doing that that means you're unhealed a false hope tries to sell you a pipe dream there's no substance and it's being evasive so false hope false promises and you have to face it you know something isn't right don't be afraid to find out the truth it will set you free and you have to face those fears so that you can have that freedom to be able to move forward could have felt like you were just drowning you are going under and barely keeping things afloat you've got to ask for help it's okay to reach out and ask for help and you have to forgive so that you can release and let it go they didn't mean to hurt you, but you were holding on to it. Forgiving helps you get past it. And in some cases, they most definitely did mean to hurt you. And they didn't care how they fucking made you feel. And then some other relationships from your past. Because we've had multiple, and it can be romantic or platonic. It's soulmate energies. That some didn't mean to hurt you, but they did. And maybe at that time, you didn't stand up for yourself in the way that you do now. And so these energies, they keep cycling and repeating until the lessons are learned. And they're never going to stop. It's never going to change. And we have to be the catalyst for that change. This person could have been a show-off. They, they need to prove themselves. They were insecure. They could have been an, ex an exhibitionist. Anything else? It was a big tangled mess. Unable to free yourself from a sticky situation. Taking a step back 
those taking a step back helps you see clearly yeah because it's hard to see what's going on and it takes two someone is not committed they're it's being incompatible and having conflict in the energy so i mean it takes two for a relationship to fail it's not always one-sided and we have to look in the mirror reflect your own issues like attracts like and whenever we think about it that way it's hard to deal with that because it's like how could i attract the devil it's just because you were at a lower vibrational frequency and it was karmic energy that had to be balanced out to help you ascend and come out to where you can apply those life lessons and that wisdom that was gained during that time to be able to overcome that energy and to to conquer it trouble follows them around tempting an addictive charm going on so could have been lustful energy also and just keeping things up in the air not able to make solid plans being flighty and being ungrounded so and that goes with this false hope and these empty promises over here just left you feeling empty the truth is that you simply don't feel fulfilled it's worth the wait to find true happiness and so that's why you're waiting you're focusing on yourself and your healing journey and you're not going to allow just anyone to come towards you beware be careful of who you trust at this time research um, chameleon totem medicine the number three could be significant universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility there's a birth of something new the number four so that's empress and emperor energy know that you are protected as you face challenges but remain cautious as you're climbing this mass this mountain the number 22 You could have been neglected in the relationship. Tend to your inner garden and it will flourish. It's being disregarded, you no know, feeling overlooked can be forgetfulness. You could have felt neglected by this person like they didn't care. And there could have been codependent wounds that were involved. Reliance, neediness, and addiction. Find strength in self-sufficiency and empowerment. And then there could have been pride and ego issues with arrogance and vanity. True worth is measured by character, not accolades. So it's going through the dark night of the soul and giving that ego a death. Obscurity. In the unknown, there's room for endless possibilities, darkness, ambiguity, and mystery. And so this person could have been mysterious and obscure and kept you wondering what was going on with false hope and empty promises because they wanted control. And the first card out over here was control issues. This person could have been very dominating over you and abusive and made it to where you were too scared to stand up for yourself. By letting go of the illusion of control, we open ourselves to genuine freedom it's domination manipulation and power having that uh, control over someone else and then it just was nothing but a betrayal healing begins with acceptance and forgiveness so overcoming deception and treachery and backstabbing because of the illusions that were created in the relationship with the lies that are being that were being revealed because you had to read between the lines oh yeah i didn't even see that under there to see the truth the confessions the secrets were revealed this clarity coming out and the illusions that were obscure with all these betrayals being burned seek reality even if it's raw and challenging it's a mirage, a fantasy, and deception. And just focus on your desires for what you're longing and what you're longing and craving and yearning for. Harness its power to manifest dreams. 
not delusions. So it's having a healthy sense in your mental state and emotional state to where you attract positive energy and relationships towards you. pull from here. Tell me about this energy that they're having to deal with and overcome. What do we need from here, Spirit? Stress and burnout. Chronic stress is what you're dealing with. Prolonged stress and exhaustion that can affect physical, mental, and spiritual health. Okay. And that's where this anxiety is coming in. And all this worry and spirit is asking you to stand in your in your authority with this emperor energy here and go in do, do your inner your inner solitude and your inner healing work with temperance energy here with earth angel energy balancing out this energy the strength card with this inner journey inner journey love begins within you the ace of cups and overcoming this mental conflict with the two of swords making a decision to have a healthy sense of self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others and healing the sacral chakra archangel ariel is here issues coming from an imposter syndrome believing oneself to be a fraud or unworthy of success and recognition which can erode spiritual confidence and on the bottom we have needing to heal from betrayal wounds yeah belief that everyone leaves from past disappointments here it's created trust issues and a lack of self-love from all these betrayals walls of protection around the heart due to unprocessed past trauma and whenever you heal these aspects you're not going to have these these issues anymore with the betrayals of being burned you're going to be able to get over that and move forward and not let it define you and, and destroy your life and keep you stuck in that energy because that's not where you're supposed to be you're supposed to move on and heal from that and it takes time it, it hurts and it, it's a process you have to grieve it needing to heal from betrayal wounds deep emotional pain resulting from a perceived betrayal by someone trusted leading to difficulty in trusting others and it's affecting every single relationship that comes into your life there could be father wounds that need to be healed. Emotional pain and challenges arising from the relationship with one's father or a father figure. And you could even be having a need to address a fear of success. Subconscious fears or beliefs that hinder the pursuit of personal and professional achievements. And it could be because everyone's always taken it from you. They've always just taken it from you. Needing to correct energy imbalances. Disruptions in the flow of energy throughout the body, often associated with various energy systems such as chi or prana. So it's making sure that your chi is flowing and that you don't have any blockages in the chakra system. Needing to heal a neglect wound. Feelings of abandonment, unworthiness, and a deep sense of emptiness, often resulting in difficulty forming healthy attachments. Self-neglect and a pervasive fear of rejection or abandonment and that is what's going on in this energy let's look where's this other deck agreeable <clears throat> do you tend to agree with others to avoid conflicts and not disrupt the strat the status quo 
You will often allow others to make decisions in order to keep the peace and not hurt other people's feelings. And that's where these control issues come in. You're you're finally learning to speak up for yourself instead of just agreeing all the time because you don't want to upset someone. And you could have been abused to where if you did say something, then you're too scared to stand up for yourself. So then the relationship starts out to where you're already in that energy and it's only going to get worse because especially if this other person is mirroring in, in the same frequency and not healed, that abuse is just, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse until you finally bring yourself out of that energy and be like, I refuse to be in this anymore. I'm not going to live like this and you have to walk away. And it's okay to not agree with everyone. You're allowed to have your own opinion. And if someone won't allow that, then you don't need to be in a situationship or relationship with that person. Because they're not allowing you to be who you are with your true self. blind loyalty do you support others even if they are engaging in toxic behaviors because you do not want to betray them you support others without questioning their behavior and ignore things that are concerning Steals the limelight. Do you have a strong desire to be the best or most recognized due to feeling inferior to others? So you could have been dealing with a narcissist that always wanted to be the center of attention. And if you got attention, then you would get abused over that and act like, oh, you're you you flirt with them or you're cheating on me. And it's all their projection because they're not getting the attention. Have a strong desire to be noticed by others. Therefore, you try to outshine others at every opportunity. That is extremely narcissistic. It's disgusting. They're superficial. Do you judge others based on outside factors due to not wanting to reveal your innermost self? You seek relationships based on appearances and you are more concerned with surface aspects. So that, you know, you could have had energy like that around you that... You just or you just can't stand being around that superficial energy. It's so fake. It's so it's it's just a fraud. It's not real. Schadenfreude. Does the misfortunes of others make you feel better about yourself? You feel pleasure or amusement in response to the misfortunes, pain, humiliation, or mistakes of other people, and that could be how this past person treated you with this abuse here. And you know it takes a lot to get over whenever someone treats you with that kind of energy because they they enjoy seeing you hurt and seeing you in pain and i think that most of us have had at least several people in our lives that are that way that we've had to overcome and heal from and they're fucking assholes they're show off need to prove themselves and it's because they're insecure and they're an exhibitionist they could like people to watch you know apothecary potions herbs elixirs and alchemy so it's alchemizing and transmuting the energy out that doesn't need to be there working with herbs is is like a form of healing herbal medicine tinctures herbal supplements could be good for you but always ask your doctor if you have medications because they can interact most most of them will be okay but there are a few that your doctor may be like no st john's wort is one of those you have to be careful using that um the autocrat a tyrant oppressive centralized control so there was a tyrant in your life that was extremely controlling and possessive and they wouldn't allow you to follow your heart they focused on your past disappointments and then would trigger you into making you feel like you weren't good enough and it just kept making you shut down further and further and put bigger walls of protection around your heart and you you weren't healing 
from unprocessed past traumas because so much more that needed to be healed was being piled on top of it. Yeah, you know, someone was like a usurper. They were trying to overthrow your life, overpower you, take over you. And you're a profound thinker. You're very focused when you meditate. And the divine will give you answers and energy whenever you go in and channel with them. We have the Wheel of Karma, Gemini Energy. Karma, Dharma, Destined, Inevitable, Cause and Effect, Divine Intervention, Cycles, Luck, Fortune, Rise and Fall, Circumstance, Consequence, Divine Will, and Blind Justice. So, the Wheel of Karma is here, and things are balancing out. So, Dharma, which is good karma, is coming in for good acts. Karma is being balanced out from past life and current life energy. Every single day we create karma. How we think, how we speak, how we act, how we feel. It creates karma. It's constant. It always has to be dealt with and transmuted. So the so if you're putting out dharma, then you're going to keep getting that in return. And it's going to raise the vibrational frequency and energy that you're emitting and that you're attracting. Okay? It's working with the universal laws. And the law of attraction is one of those laws that is very good to work with. We have a fairy tale. Believe the impossible. It's daydreaming. A romantic ending. Universal archetypes that you've had to heal from. Hopeful. Magic. With the magician here and awareness, you're powerful. Unicorns and rainbows. It's aspiring to have that happily ever after. It's fanciful stories that we tell ourselves and others. Cancer energy. Yes, the answer is yes. The situation or event is right on track at this time. So, something good is coming towards you. And everything is right on time. We have balloons, fun and freedom, high vibes, having relief and rising up. It's ascension, aspiration, success, being joyful, having a higher perspective, being cheerful and attaining your goals, stress-free, independence, and let it go. Capricorn energy. It's beautiful. You're leveling up and you're growing and you're glowing and you're just so beautiful. Directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. Exactly. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. Because that's when you start becoming a co-creator. My greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. My true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. There you go. What else do we need? Okay. Cleaned up my desk. <clears throat> yeah. Problems with intimacy. Mutual respect and closeness and unity in a relationship. Um, we've got blocked. You've moved on. There's nothing to say. You want someone to stop calling. And you could also be blocking intimacy from coming towards you. So, you're purifying and resurrecting your being and your spiritual values. And you could be ignoring someone that could be wanting to reconcile because you don't want to.
Yeah. And you're just unbothered that this past energy could be into you. You don't want anything to do with it. And you're moving on and you're letting go and you're loving you. There's nothing to say. This person could have been very promiscuous out screwing around and cheating. Sleeps around a hot free-for-all and sleeps with your man. And Spirit's just telling you, use caution with anyone that's promiscuous from your path that could be wanting to come back around. You need to protect yourself sexually, and that's what you've been doing. Um, single, celibate, honoring the vessel. There was a hater that was very insecure in your energy here. And there were bad choices that were made. This person could have anger problems. And they were just very manipulative, controlling and playing games. And they're out playing people. This was a player that you had to heal and overcome from. And it's hard to overcome from a player. It freaking hurts. They're like master manipulators. And they gaslight you. And you're just focusing on your peace and your balance and harmony. This could have been a, a fallen twin or soulmate here that did this to you. And it just left you absolutely exhausted and depleted. You were drained and it was a really long journey because there was a lot of heart fog, mixed signals, blocked emotions. There was a lot that was messed up in this commitment here. And that's taken time to overcome and get over. And this person could start chasing you, trying to pursue you again with this toxicity, but because they want this intimacy, but just protect yourself sexually from this person and in any intimacy, because they could be trying to return for a second chance. They want a, another opportunity. They could come in trying to want to make amends. And this person is a very insecure hater. They're still very unhealed. And this person is not healing. You're working on healing yourself. This past person is not. Is, now, some of them could be. But the person that I'm picking up on with the energy, no. They're, they're not doing anything to change. They're still in this toxic lifestyle. And all they're wanting to do is trap you. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. This person could drink a lot. And they want to trap you because it's this Jezebel energy here that's promiscuous, that's out sleeping around. And they could be like, oh, I regret it. I miss you so much. And then if you shut them down and reject them, they're going to rage out and go off. They're going to disturb your peace and your balance that you're creating because this person has a very unhealthy sex addiction. And they could be trying to say that they miss you. They could be wishing that they could come back. But they could have, it's not happening. They could have secret accounts and spying on you online. This person was a karmic lesson that had to be learned. And you've been learning these karmic lessons. And this past person is still in this karmic cycle. They're, they're like trapped in it. And some people are here to only be karmic. They're not going to come out of that and you have to understand that some people they're just not going to change and you can't change them it's up to every one of us to change ourselves yep you're fed up you're over it you're not having it you're frustrated you see all the red flags there's warning signs it's a risky situation to get involved with this player again you've already been burned once it's going to be a million times worse if you let them back in i promise that's how it works it's always so much worse and so much harder to get away and survive it if you let them back in after you've already gotten rid of them they're not looking to settle they're still just out playing the field it's cuffing season they're single and ready to mingle and they're on the hunt acting like they're ready for a relationship but they're still seeking options yeah they're just all about the chemistry and the intense passions and sexual energy that they've got with these lipstick stains. They're the infidelity. They full of betrayal, caught cheating, and some kind of secrets being revealed. The cat's out of the bag. You're on to this person. They're untrustworthy. You can't trust this person. And this person was very hard to reach. They're hard to read. 
very guarded and shut down emotionally they're like trying to come through a brick wall and this walls of protection around the heart here too it can be on both ends it's a defense mechanism to help guard yourself but it's due to past traumas that are unprocessed and unhealed you know, this person was secretive and sneaky they were obscure and very mysterious hiding information and now they could want this reconciliation here and it's just going to be nothing but a power struggle whenever if this person tries to come back around there's no balance in this energy here they could try and pop up with some kind of surprise visit or reach out or message you in some way they could be stalking and spying on social media or in person could be getting readings on you and this was someone that you had a soul contract with and you're sick and tired of the cycles you're over it you're you're moving on and you're moving forward a decision has been made there's too many trust issues the rel the relationship was one-sided very detached energy a lot of fighting and now everything in this person's life is crumbling they could have lost their job you could have lost your job it made your entire life crumble down it was so much chaos that you had to overcome because this person was living a double life they were deceptive they were in another relationship and they were a liar and it's all because of their addictions it was nothing but a toxic connection and a roller coaster this person has problems with infatuation and they're in denial of that they're in denial of how obsessed they are and it's just extremely unhealthy a return to sender has backfired on them and the significant other here this past person they're sending negativity towards you causing you to act out of character irrational emotions and mood swings they could be trying to make that occur this person could even be a business rival can't stand your grind and hustle or they're just mad that you're taking care of yourself financially <clears throat> the person causing negativity could be an earth sign that's for some of you not all of you just take that how it resonates but their heart chakra is blocked and there's a lot of issues affection balance beauty compassion empathy healing love mindfulness nurturing and relationships all are connected to the heart chakra and theirs is blocked but your spirit team is here your ancestors your angels and your spirit guides the gods and the goddesses have got your back and they're protecting you and they're helping heal your heart chakra could have been dealing with someone that had a trickster spirit on them sudden thing or sudden loss of memory and things end up missing and someone could end up in a freak accident and if there's return to sender that's backfiring then that could be what that is but um, amethyst would be good for you to use it's for psychic protection control the spiritual energies while dreaming and can help with insomnia and nightmares always sleep with amethyst above your head at night something could happen during mars retrograde impulsive rage of anger hostility major blowouts fights and violence could have occurred there's hate tweets towards you petty birds tweet tweet they could be talking shit about you online and they could be turning other people against you put a dream catcher over your bed to help with your dream state they're envious of your career and the money that you make and this person because you're coming out as the ace of pentacles here the venus retrograde dealing with insecurities appearance body image worthiness relationships and sexuality could definitely be affecting this situation here someone could be claiming credit over your success you need to recharge your energy distance yourself and take a break take a vacation pamper yourself do something to indulge in yourself that makes you feel good do things that make you happy pyrite help shield you from the harmful effects that technology can have on the mind and the body and recharging your energy can also just be getting off your phone turn off the tv turn off the electronics 
um, using pyrite can help prevent those uh, that energy from coming towards you and like affecting your being you will witness their karma so whoever this was that was hurting you you're going to witness their karma you're going to see it unfold and you're you're healing from these cycles and you're learning and this person is stuck in this cycle in this loop in this pattern and you don't want anything to do with it and they're just like oh i just want to come back around because they need a stable foundation and they see that with you and that's not your responsibility don't allow them to guilt trip you into something you follow your heart instead of con them coming in trying to control you and anything that's that you're wanting to manifest in your life by not following your heart don't allow someone to intimidate you into doing what they want you have every right to say no and keep healthy boundaries and keep yourself guarded to where you can be hard to reach because that's you protecting yourself from energies that don't need to be around you you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Stand out. Perspective. Bringing things together. Your heart is an ocean. Find yourself in its hidden depths. It's about your life journey and finding purpose and true love. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. Stay steady. Go with the flow and do the right thing. And that's acting with a state of integrity. Stop playing small. You are the universe in a static motion. Courage. Moving forward. Making progress and taking action towards what you want to manifest for your goals. Where there is ruin, there is hope for a treasure. Rough time. It's a good outcome. Everything will work out okay. It's going to be all right. The world is a mountain that echoes your words. Reflection. Seeing effects and what you do matters. Exactly. You could volunteer to do something. It's a selfless devotion, a beautiful act. It's a spirit of service, being dedicated to your service. You could be researching things as you're going on your journey and trying to find out what's going on within and of yourself, with your ascension, and with what is going on in your energy. The explorer of truth, studying, experimenting. could be active in your community you could be a volunteer or do something nice in your community it's cooperation in a society having a connection and a team or if you need help with something reach out because there are resources available in the community is what I'm hearing The beaver with balance. You are being told that hard work is important, but so is quality time with your loved ones. The balance between work, play, family, and career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success. The hedgehog with trust. This is a reminder that even if you feel that others do not understand or get you, or what you are doing it is no excuse to curl up and hide sure you may need a little bit of space right now but the world needs your gifts you are more than worthy you have to believe in yourself and you have to love yourself and on the bottom we have the rabbit with cleverness if you have been going through difficult times it is time to think outside the box to find the solution this is also a reminder to avoid neglecting your creative side if you have let creative projects lapse it may be time to pick them back up again yes and allow your creativity to come through and it'll help energize your spirit it'll make you feel so good it'll make you feel amazing And it will definitely raise your vibrational frequency and it will help heal any blockages in your sacral chakra. 
And it will be a profound what you will manifest and what you will create. Perhaps you are reminded all too often just how quickly the phases in your life can shift. One can, or one change after another. You are learning to adapt and grow. Be kind and gentle with yourself. Yeah, there's a lot that we have to do while we're down here and it changes all the time. You are feeling somewhat confused by the events that are unfolding around you and the various seemingly contradictory information that are coming your way. Trust your instincts and do what they are telling you to do and you will learn a lot about yourself and the direction you want your life to take. Alright, so let's roll the dice and let's see what zodiac signs want to come out. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Mars, <clears throat> Jupiter, Mars again, and the sun. The number nine. The number six. The number six again. And the number ten. So. June 6th. June 9th. June 10th. September 6th. September 9th. September 10th. October 6th, October 9th, and October 10th can be significant. Oh wait, I grabbed the wrong one. I'll do that again. I grabbed the one with planets on it. I thought I grabbed the right one, but I didn't. Taurus, twice, Libra, and Pisces. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Virgo, Libra. I'll do it two more times. Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, and Leo. One more time. Whoop. Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Aquarius again. All right, guys. So this is going to be our reading. You guys just take this how it resonates. And I hope that it helps you guys on your journey. I love you. Bye, Collective. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. I love you. Bye.